Sweet. What's going on guys? High Tech Lab here on the Techro Gaming Network. Uh, today we were a little bit bored and we got into some red power computers uh, and nuclear reactors, what I feel are two of the more complicated things in the game. And what we accomplished today, oh by the way legit we didn't fill these condensers with the, the right materials. What we accomplished today, here's our prototype that we got. We accomplished automated reactors. Now, you're probably wondering how is that possible, um, but it's a reactor. This is Tekkit, so we, we're still allowed to use ice, but pretty much what it does is it empties all the stuff out and, and fills the uranium cells, which are actually over there coming from the factory. But So we have a uranium cell factory, and there's pipes feeding the... Um, various parts of the factory but essentially what it all starts out as is uh, a red power 2 computer uh we ra we wrote a program to do this and i'm not going to give out the code because i'm just mean like that um but essentially all you got to do to type in or to run the program is if you look this is um this would be one if you're not familiar with uh, the red power computer you probably uh, will want to watch a couple of tutorials, but this white cable goes into the bus transceiver to turn on and off this factory's connection to the network and stuff. But So this w is the number one cable, and if we look here at uh, the or the wires in NEI, um, the white one's one, orange is two, magenta's four, light blue is eight, and so on and so on. So if I wanted to refill this reactor, I do one, but we actually want to fill this one and uh, legit is it ready to go or does it need some like EMC? Um, no, it should be good. Okay, does it have cells yet? Um, it's not filling this chest. Did you connect the tube? Yeah, it, it's probably stocking up the other one first. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Go, go ahead and grab those and throw them in that chest. So essentially all we do on this computer is we type in, in this case we want to refill reactor number two and type in uh, restock and what that'll do is it will turn on this orange cable and you can see the different data going through essentially what it's doing right now is it's sucking the ice out of the reactor in all reality we're supposed to have a stack of ice in here which we forgot we just built this so normally there were, this would be full of ice and what it's doing right now is pumping it out and when these are um, full Pretty much what you have is you have ice and depleted uranium cells, which this retriever, legit, this retriever is missing a depleted uranium cell. That needs to be done. Pretty much that retriever is always um, taking out the depleted uranium cells. So when this reactor is done, all you have left in it is the ice. So what this here is doing is it's sucking all the ice out by the stack and putting it in this chest. Now, it's running this about 80 times to make sure all the uh, ice comes out, but as you saw, there's no ice in there. So, once this is done pulling all the ice, because normally it'd have about 54 um, stacks of ice, uh, it's going to go ahead and run this timer, or, or this uh, retriever over here, which will put uranium cells in the uh, reactor. So, is that all good there now? Yeah, yeah. I put the depleted cell in. Okay. And the thermal monitor we want at like five thousand or seven thousand heat. So it it you missed it, but it's already starting to put the uranium cells into the reactor out of this chest. Uh, it puts all except for I believe what was this one eight slots. Yeah, it fills all this all the reactor except for eight slots uh, with uranium cells. So that's running um, to fill the reactor. And shortly after the reactor is full, it re-enables this timer because timers you could stop with a redstone signal in the back. So then that, that fires up. This could be a filter, but I just felt like using a retriever. Um, that, that then sends this to uh, run some ice, and there's various delays in there and loops. Um, so once this reactor is to here, which may take a minute... Uh, we can't really speed this up because the computer is... We need more cells, legit. We need more cells. We only have three left. Oh, yeah. I'll grab some. Ah. Oh. 
Okay, there we go. And then, okay, so, um, that filled with uranium cells, and, uh, oh, shoot, what do we have the thermal monitor set at? Did I set that all the way at 7,000? We want to be at, like, 4,800. So what that then did is it re-enabled the timer and turned the reactor back on, uh, with the black wire. It, it sent that to low, not high. So now the ice is running back in, and it'll, it'll take a moment for this to fill up, um, but... If we get a EU reader, I'm in creative mode because I'm a moderator on this server. Uh, it was actually built legit. Um, if we get an EU reader, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Uh, and check the output of this um, reactor. We're outputting about mm, 1,700, but that's because we ran out of cells. So normally, if we grab some cells... And throw them in here. The um, other reactor we had was outputting 2,000 EU per tick. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn that on. Um, let's check. Actually, it's outputting more than that. This thing's saying it's outputting like 3,400. That's awesome. Average over 21 ticks. Look at this. That's, it says it's only outputting 2,000 EU a tick. How does that work? I think that's the max that the um, the industrial information panel will read. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, that's outputting 3,300. That's insane. That's uh, but that's because we had to have three transformers. Because if you don't have three transformers, you could only output 512 EU a tick per transformer. So, we... go ahead. Should we fill a reactor with ice to show them the uh, restocking? Um, no, I think it, it's kind of obvious. If you have a retriever pulling the ice, it's self-explanatory. They saw it pulsing. Mm -hmm. That kind of require we restart this reactor, and that's kind of a pain. But pretty much what it does is it puts the excess ice in this condenser and condenses it into red matter, which you could then throw back in here to make ice. Uh, and then you have your power output. If we look over here, oh my god, look at how quickly the MFSUs are charging. It's insane. Wow. It's a lot of power. I don't, I don't even think we could output it quick enough. I think we need more MFSUs. <laughs> we may actually just have to go straight into a mass fab. Let's, uh, that's what I was thinking. let's do that later on. So yeah, that's what this computer does when it's done. Um, since red power works based on binary, if both of these need to be restocked and we have the white and the orange, so this is two, that's one. If we were to type three and then restock, it'd restock both reactors simultaneously. So that's really useful if you have multiple reactors. Instead of going around by hand and throwing all the ice out, you could just run it all from a computer and it's super helpful. We have not been able to uh, get it set up with a item detector to detect when the reactor is done. Um, but that's our next step. We're trying to get, you know, a, a good idea of when the reactor is, like, finished with its cycle. So that way it automatically we will we'll run the red power computer and restock it. So, anything you wanted to add, legit? Uh, no. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. This is High Tech Lab, and I'm legit. I don't know. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do not have a YouTube channel. He doesn't have a YouTube channel, but he has a funny face. I do have a funny face. So, yeah. Chest bump. Chest bump. Chest bump. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.